With over 75 million likes, this is the most liked photo on Instagram. Argentina's Leo Messi finally lifting the World Cup. The image shared with Messi's 400 million plus followers on the social media platform is nothing short of iconic. But there's a catch. That is not the real trophy. This is the original. So did Messi actually touch it? Well, it's complicated. The original World Cup is here at the FIFA Museum in Switzerland under tight security. And there are good reasons for that. See, football's governing body, FIFA, awards the original World Cup trophy to the tournament's winners. But the trophy always remains in FIFA's possession. According to their website, the trophy, made of solid gold and weighing 6.142 kilograms, can only be touched and held by a very select group of people, which includes former World Cup winners, the FIFA president, and heads of state. There have been unwanted exceptions. But normally, FIFA goes far to protect the World Cup. You'd imagine that the winning team would be able to keep the trophy, at least until the next World Cup, but that is no longer the case. To be honest, it makes sense why. So let's take a deep dive into World Cup history and find out how a replica made it to Leo Messi's hands. The first ever World Cup tournament took place in Uruguay in 1930. Back then, the trophy looked quite different. The World Cup trophy, initially simply known as Victory, was modest in size and was made of gold-plated sterling silver. It featured Nike, the Greek goddess of victory, holding an octagonal cup with her wings. The base was made from a semi-precious stone called lapis lazuli. Golden plates were attached to it, engraved with the names of the winning teams. Winners would get to keep the trophy from the day they were awarded it until the day of the final draw of the next tournament. The first team to win the World Cup were the hosts Uruguay, who held onto the trophy until 1934, when Italy won the next tournament. The Italians then defended their title in 1938 and kept the trophy until 1950. Not because they kept on winning it though. As World War II broke out, the 1942 and 1946 tournaments were canceled. Legend has it that at the time, the Nazis tried to steal the trophy from Rome, where it was being held in a bank vault. The head of the Italian Football Federation, Ottorino Barassi, smuggled the trophy out of the bank and hid it in a shoebox underneath his bed. From the shoebox, it went back to Uruguay after the 1950 World Cup, then to West Germany in 1954, Brazil in 58 and 62, and England in 1966. But a few months before the tournament, the trophy was stolen during a public exhibition in London. While law enforcement agencies scrambled to recover it, the English FA secretly commissioned a replica trophy to avoid an international scandal. Then they received a ransom letter demanding 15,000 pounds for the return of the trophy. The police were informed and the plan to catch the robber was in place, but the trophy was nowhere to be found. That was until a dog by the name of Pickles sniffed around a car only to find the trophy tightly wrapped in newspapers. A very good boy indeed. Pickles quickly became a national hero, receiving a year's supply of dog food along with many medals and awards. Pickles seems to have been England's lucky charm as they ended up winning the World Cup on home soil. Queen Elizabeth II presented the trophy to Captain Bobby Moore before it was swiftly taken away by the police to make sure it remained in safe hands. In 1970, Brazil was the first country to win the World Cup for a third time and therefore were allowed to keep the trophy permanently as had been stipulated by Jules Rimé, who was the FIFA president when the tournament was created. The trophy was renamed in his honor as the Jules Rimé Cup. FIFA then created a new version of the trophy for the next tournament but the story surrounding the Jules Rimet Cup doesn't end just there. The Brazilian Football Confederation kept the trophy at their headquarters in Rio. The Jules Rimet Cup was displayed behind bulletproof glass. But in 1983, thieves stole it from the offices. How, you may ask? The glass frame was made of wood and the robbers simply pried it open. Even Netflix made a comedy movie based on the theft. And although several people were arrested, the Jules Rimé Cup was never recovered. There were rumors that the trophy was melted down for gold bars, but that seems unlikely, as it was not solid gold, but rather gold-plated silver. Other theories say that the cup wasn't even the real deal. FIFA even paid over 250,000 pounds at an auction to obtain the replica that the English FA had produced, suspecting that the trophy was the real one and had been kept in England but FIFA won the bid for what turned out to be just a guild bronze replica. 
What happened to the original cup remains a mystery. So it's not hard to see why FIFA is so particular when it comes to protecting their current World Cup trophy. The current version of the World Cup has been awarded since 1974, and it is one of the most recognized sports symbols in the world. In a parallel with the Men's World Cup, there have been two trophies for the Women's World Cup as well. Surprisingly, just as it was with the Jules Rimet Cup, the first Women's World Cup trophy was also stolen. The trophy made its debut in 1991 at the first Women's World Cup in China. FIFA commissioned to make a trophy with two identical copies, may be mindful of what had happened with the Jules Rimet Cup. Four years later, the same trophy was presented to the World Cup winners in Sweden. Norway returned home with the trophy after beating Germany in the 95 final. The trophy was put on display in the offices of the Norwegian FA. In 1997, the Ullevall Stadium in Oslo, where the association is based, underwent renovation, and during this work, the trophy somehow disappeared. It has not been seen again since. The other copy remains safely in the hands of FIFA. And it is on display at the FIFA Museum. The current Women's World Cup trophy has been awarded since 1999. Its design has been slightly updated since, but the most recent World Cup trophy is made of sterling silver and is covered in 23 karat white and yellow gold. Nowadays, the current FIFA World Cup trophies, both women's and men's, follow a strict protocol, remaining in FIFA's possession and cannot be won outright, as it was the case with the Jules Rimet trophy. The original World Cup trophy, made of solid gold, only leaves its home on occasions that FIFA deems worthy. It appears on the pitch on the first day of the tournament and during the final, when the winning team gets to lift it and celebrate with it in the stadium. But before the players leave the ground, FIFA takes the original trophy away and sends it to a factory in Italy, on the outskirts of Milan, where it is repaired and restored before it makes its way back to FIFA's headquarters in Switzerland. La coppa quando arriva si vede che è una coppa festeggiata, ecco, quindi ma va bene così perché comunque eh, si lotta per vincere questa coppa e quindi quando si vince c'è una grande gioia e è chiaro che poi è un simbolo di vittoria e c'è tanto amore per viene festeggiato, ma è giusto così. The winning team is given the tournament edition trophy instead, which is a gold-plated bronze replica. It's known as the FIFA World Cup Winners Trophy, and it's engraved with the year, host country, and winners of the event. La Coppa è fatta in bronzo, in ottone, e tutta fatta a mano in modo molto artigianale. E quindi per noi è un motivo di prestigio e d'orgoglio riuscire a lavorarlo ancora come si lavorava tanti anni fa. But by now you might be thinking, Messi was just holding the bronze replica. Big deal. Well, not quite. FIFA won't sell full-size replicas of the World Cup. All official merchandise is limited to a maximum height of 15 centimeters, less than half the size of the original trophy. And they're not cheap by any means. The small, licensed replicas can cost a pretty penny. That has led many to create their own full-size versions of the trophy. The internet is packed with do-it-yourself tutorials on how to make the World Cup trophy with simple materials, and some don't look half as bad. Some have even taken full advantage of the high demand for full-size replicas. This workshop in Vietnam makes handmade plaster models. But it isn't always just about the money. Tôi có ý tưởng làm được cúp là xuất phát từ niềm đam mê bóng đá. Không những tôn cả nhà tôi đều mê bóng đá. Thì mới bắt đầu là tôi chỉ có ý tưởng là không mang cái chiếc kinh doanh. Mà cái ý tưởng của tôi là để làm để thỏa niềm đam mê bóng đá và để tặng đến cho bạn bè. The fascination with the trophy has gone so far that even professional sculptors have recreated the trophy. And that takes us back to the trophy Messi was holding. But let's hear from the man that first noticed something was going on. Take it away, Angel Di Maria. Yo estaba haciendo foto con mi familia, estaba sí. con la copa. Y allá del otro lado lo veo a Leo arriba del Kun con, con, otra o, con una copa. <laughs> Me parece que yo tengo una copa que no es. Le estoy sacando foto con la copa que no es porque claro. Leo tiene la otra. Y había dos personas de la FIFA ahí sí. parado al lado mío y le pregunté por qué estaban 
conmigo. No. Y me dice, no, es que vos tenés la copa. La original. La original. Y le digo, ah, esta es la original. Sí, le digo, y aquella, no sé, me dicen. Y le digo, digo, ¿de dónde salió esa copa? Y nada, y ahí fui cambiando. Donde estaba Leo. Y le digo, besaste, diste la vuelta con la copa, pero la original, la original la tenía yo. Digamos, era exactamente igual, pero la original la tenía yo. The World Cup trophy that Messi held in some photos in his Instagram post was actually a replica that Argentina fans infiltrated into the stadium. The trophy made its way down to the pitch from the crowd as its owners wanted to get it signed by the players. The fake trophy was handcrafted by a professional back in Argentina and is made of resin and quartz, weighing almost as much as the real World Cup. It definitely fooled the world's best player. ¿Cuánto pesa al final? No sé, porque hubo un quilombo con la copa. Mira la trucha. No, levanté la, la buena, sí. levanté la buena. Y después en los festejos, no sé, hubo medio lío ahí, no sabíamos si era la, la verdadera, ¿no? Pero ya no importaba. En ese momento ya, ya la habíamos levantado, yo había sido eh, el primero con mis compañeros y, y es pesadito, es pesadito. So here's how the trophies compare. The original World Cup weighs a bit over six kilos, is made of gold, and has all previous champions engraved on its base. The winner's trophy, issued by FIFA, weighs five kilos, is made of bronze, with a black base, and sports the year, host country, and winner of the event. The fan replica weighs five kilos, is made of resin and quartz, and has a plastic base. Eliana Pantano, the craftswoman responsible for the fan trophy, had already produced a replica for Argentina legend Diego Maradona. The Argentinian Football Federation also reached out to her to create a World Cup trophy for every member of the 2022 World Cup winning team. As for the replica that Messi lifted, it has been signed by some players and has become a sensation back in Argentina. The family that owns it has received many offers to sell the fake trophy. But by now, just like the original World Cup, the replica has become absolutely priceless. Would you want to get your hands on a World Cup? And if so, how much would you pay for your own trophy? <laughs>